Hello again, everyone, from Dublin, Ireland. Chris Lincoln here bringing you the third leg of the Emirates World Series Championship. In the first two legs, we saw Al Mutawakal upset the field in the Dubai World Cup. And then it was Jay Lamy overpowering the field in the King George. Let's set the conditions for the third leg of the series now. The ESAT Digifone Irish Champion Stakes. It's a mile and a quarter. Thoroughbred three and up. Group one, the first $1 million. The distance a mile and a quarter over the big rolling course here at Leopardstown. Now let's set the field. Seven runners. De Lamy, number one. The colors of Godolphin, Frankie Detroit rides. Dream Wells, double classic winner last year of the French and Irish Derby. Chained by Pascal Berry, Cash Asmus, and in for the ride. Lord of Men, the three, is the Godolphin pace center for Delami. Make no mistake was declared by Dermot Weld earlier in the morning. Royal Anthem is the race favorite. Very impressive winner at York. An eight-length victory in the group one, Judmont International. Gary Stevens back over from the stage to ride for the Thoroughbred Corporation. Sunshine Street, one of the local hosts with no meat. Then we go to two fillies in the race, two three-year-old fillies, Dazzling Park and Sun Spank. Now for the call of the ESAT Digifone Irish Champion Stakes. Let's go to Jim McGraw of the BBC. Under orders and they're racing. Jumped is one, two, and Dreamwell surprisingly goes into the lead from Sunshine Street and up there as Royal Anthem in the early stages. Lord of Men with a white cap has begun well and now going around the outside to apply some pressure to Royal Anthem up front. Just in behind them is the Grey De Lamy and they're nicely clear as they sort themselves out of Dazzling Park and on the inside Sun Spangled. Down the back though and Royal Anthem is going to be forced to do it the hard way here. Gary Stevens takes him straight into the lead. Leads by about a nick to Lord of Men up on the outside. Two lengths away is De Lamy, a half then to Sunshine Street from Dreamwell. The pace is good. Three lengths further back in the field then is Sun Spangle, who's travelling on the inside of Dazzling Park, but continuing their journey down the back and towards halfway. And the leader on the inside is Royal Anthem, being taken on all the while by Lord of Men, who may be just shading him. Two lengths away is De Lamy, half a length to Sunshine Street, then follows Dreamwell. Two lengths back in the field is Dazzling Park and Sun Spangled is last to haul. They prepare to leave the back now and it's Royal Anthem on the inside who just holds sway here. From on the outside the white cap there of Lord of Men are trying to apply pressure. Two lengths to De Lamy who's had a perfect run. They're followed then by Sunshine Street who's flat to the boards from Dreamwell but coming towards the turn and Stevens still seems to have Royal Anthem on the bit and travelling well as he beats off Lord of Men. De Lamy in behind will need a run now. Followed then by Sunshine Street from Dreamwell and back in the field then is Dazzling Park. They're on the turn for home and now it's Royal Anthem in front. He straightens up for the judge in front now. De Lamy who now gets the inside opening prize through. Frankie steals a peep and now it's De Lamy on the far side who sprints away. Royal Anthem's found nothing coming from the ruck. It's Dazzling Park. The danger on the outside. They've kicked away from Dreamwell but De Lamy inside the furlong is going to make a mockery of this. It's De Lamy performance by De Lamy. He wins clear by some 10 lengths here in the Irish champion stakes. And De Lamy, owned by Godolphin, trained by Saeed Ben Sur, and of course ridden by the incredible Frankie DeTore. After the race, we got some of the comments from the winning connections. When we turned the corner, I got upside Gary and I said, well, Gary, how much have you got left? And it was no reply, so I knew he was empty. When I, when I kicked mine, a uh, tremendous response. He skipped along five or six lengths clear, and I had a quick look around and plenty of daylight, so I was enjoying every minute of it. De Lamy. Wow, what a, what a performance today. Well, I said that in Dubai, if you remember, I told everybody that he's the next Swain, yeah. and he just proved it.